So, my dog decided to steal my bed. Hi everyone, welcome to Jazz Loves Jobs Biz. Today I'm going to be talking about what you need before you get your first horse. I like filmed this whole video with the back camera of my phone and there was this red pencil case in the way of like half the camera and it was so annoying. So now I need to real film it with the front camera so I can see what's going on because we moved house so I'm just like experimenting places to film. So sorry if it's not very good quality. So getting into the video, first I'm going to be talking about what you need to know. So what you need to know is... Ooh. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, so what you need to know, so you should be a good rider. You don't need to be like an amazing rider because like who is an amazing rider unless you're in the Olympics or like something like that. But um, you should just be able to ride. Like don't be like a total beginner because you're just going to get yourself hurt and yeah. So, if you are getting a horse and you are more of a beginner kind of thing, don't get an experienced horse. Well, like, get an experienced horse, but, like, don't get a horse that needs someone with experience because you won't be able to handle it. And then you will get hurt or something. So, yeah, get a horse suited to your compatibility. Uh, Get, get a horse suited to your ability. So if you're an experienced rider, don't get a beginner's horse, like a push button horse, because then you won't be able to like do anything or like progress with your horse. So yeah, you should know what you need to feed your horse, obviously. So you can ask your vet or you can ask someone you know who's good at horses or just look it up on the internet but don't just always trust the internet like get some real people's advice as well um so yeah so you need to know when your horse needs to be drenched when it needs to see a farrier when it needs to see a vet when it needs its teeth fluted all things like that um you can ask anyone who is experienced with horses and also when like the first time your horse gets your um gets his like feet down by farrier, um, your farrier will tell you when your horse needs to be seen again and like how often your horse needs to be seen. Same with like vets and stuff. Um, you need to know what to do in an emergency. Like I know there will be like, there's like heaps of different scenarios that could happen but you need to know like kind of what to do in a, an emergency. Like say your horse gets the leg stuck in a fence and cuts his leg you need to just know how to like wrap it up properly before the vet gets there you also need to know how to tack up and groom so obviously when you get your horse you are going to ride your horse so you need to know how to tack up your horse um so yeah so you need to know how to tack up your horse so you don't like put the saddle on backwards or something um which you probably won't do but um yeah and to groom your horse because you need to groom your horse a lot and even if you're not riding yet you still need to groom your horse mostly just picking out his hooves but you can brush your horse as well um you need to know what to look for if your horse is sick so like say if your horse has colic it'll be rolling and looking at its stomach and you need to like notice like simple signs like that um you also need to know what type of like weeds and plants your horse isn't allowed to eat because there might be some in your paddock and you don't know that they're bad <laughs> and your horse might eat them and that would be bad so just like look up plants on the internet You'll also need to know um, what type of shelter your horse needs. So you don't need a full on stable, but you do need some shelter for your horse and it needs to be strong. You need to know this stuff so if something bad happens, you know how to deal with it and this will also prevent stuff 
from happening that is bad. So yeah, you can learn stuff from your writing school, experienced owners and vets. Okay, what you need. You obviously need a lot of money. Horses are crazy expensive and things can happen that can cause you a lot of money. Like vet bills cost heaps and heaps of money depending on like what happens. Um, farrier costs a lot, feed costs a lot, um, tat costs a lot. So, yeah. Um... So, of course, you need a place to keep it. That might be your own property or an adjustment place, but you need to have a good place to keep your horse. You also need a lot and a lot, and I mean a lot, of time. Horses take up a crazy amount of time, and you need to have the time to give that to them. Um, so, yeah, like, if you have assignments, you can't just not, like go to them like I'm not saying put horses over school but you need to feed them if it might mean like not riding them for a few days but you need to feed them every day even like if it means having to stay up late to do your assignment it's horses need to their health needs to come first okay so now I'm going to talk about what type of tack you need Okay, so my dog has decided to help film, but he is not going to be in the camera. I'm going to move him over a bit. Oh, there we go. Hello. Okay, so next, um, you need, if you know what size bridle to get, you can get a bridle so that you can ride without the saddle when you first get your horse, and you don't want to get a saddle um straight away you want to get a saddle after so that you know the right size and you can get a saddle fitter out to fit the saddle um yeah so if it's raining where you are you want a rain sheet if it's freezing you want a rug if it's really hot you want like a fly mask or something so yeah you can get a saddle pad because like you don't need to get that specially fitted to your horse. Um, yeah, so you also need some hay and you can get some hay after as well. Like you can stock up, but you will need a bit and whatever else you're going to feed your horse. Um, yes, yeah, so you should also get some treats so you can create a bond with your horse before you start to ride and just for teaching tricks and just creating a bond. Um, you should also get a grooming kit so that you can groom treats for groundwork and stuff like that. Yeah, so you also need your own riding clothes if you don't already have them, but you probably will already have them because you should be riding for a while before you get a horse. Um, also, you need a first aid kit just in case something bad happens. And yeah, so you should also have some knowledge on how to care for a horse. I know you'll learn heaps and heaps from owning a horse, but you need to know the basics so that you don't accidentally hurt your horse or do something bad. And yeah, for anyone who is watching this horse and is getting their first horse, congratulations, you're so lucky. I've been wanting a horse for ages. Like ever since I could talk, I've wanted a horse and I never got one, but I will be getting one maybe in the future if I get my own job and yeah but I probably would well it's just there's not really anywhere to keep a horse so congratulations don't forget to subscribe like and comment if you like this video and comment any new videos you want and yeah thanks for watching bye